So let's get our channel type to now uh, actually do some work for us. Uh, we're going to make up some uh, some work, but it's going to be a fairly big task. And uh, so that will be, uh, you know, the the multiple threads will be useful here. Uh, so let's uh, bring in our what we're going to use. Uh, nothing, nothing new here. Channel and spawn. Um, let's see. So of course we're going to start out with uh, sender receiver, and we know how to do this. They are ready to go. And then here is the uh, here's the work that we're imagining that we're doing. So we have this big vec, and it's got a lot of zeros. It has one million zeros. And we would like to take this uh, and change them all into a one. And so let's, uh, and what we're going to do is put them into here. So we'll call it uh, new vec. So this new vec is going to be one million ones. And we would like to do that uh, quickly. And uh, so of course, uh, we're going to use multiple threads. And uh, that means uh, we're going to have join handles and we're going to put them into a vec and push them in. And then after the uh, the threads are used, then we're going to uh, join and, and unwrap them so that um, so that the main function will wait for uh, for all the threads to finish. And so let's um, let's imagine we're doing ten threads. Um, we could probably do more, but um, let's just do ten. Uh, spin up ten threads. Then we're going to divide this uh, this vec into uh, into tenths, and then each of them will do some stuff. And so we have, uh, of course, before we, uh, before we make these threads, we need to clone the sender because if the sender goes in, you know, it uses move and it takes by value. And so we have to uh, send in a clone um, each time. And so we're going to just, uh, you know, that's easy, make it a sender.clone. Uh, and then so each of the 10 times, we're also going to have some work to do. So let's say work. Uh, it's going to be, uh, this will be a vec of u8, and then what we're going to do is uh, put together this uh, this new vec, uh, and this will have, um, we're going to, uh, you know, you remember with capacity, you uh, you can set the, the vec's capacity, it can always go over, like it'll never, it'll never make an error, but it's, um, it's kind of like a way to uh, to say, okay, I think this vec is going to have this many items, so give it that capacity, and then you don't have to reallocate the data when it goes over. And so we have a uh, huge vec dot len divided by ten. So this will be you know one hundred thousand. So the length of this is one million divided by ten is going to be. 100,000 and then uh, we're going to use a method called um, extends to fill it up and extend is um, it's a way to quickly uh, put a vec into uh, another vec it's um, you just uh, you, you you call uh, you well you make it into a, a slice and then you uh, and then you just uh, call extend on it and then it'll do it uh, really quickly so what we do is uh, work extend and then we're going to uh let's see where is it huge vec and we're going to uh so take a slice of huge vec and this is going to be um you know from from one index to another index and so what we're going to do is use i so i is going from zero to ten and so we would like to do this so we're going to start you know, we're starting at zero, so this uh, this will be zero. Zero times one hundred thousand is zero, and then we're going up to i plus one um, times uh, one hundred thousand. So, like the first time, you know, i will come in, i will be zero, and it'll go from zero to uh, you know, zero plus one is one. So it'll go up to the one hundred thousandth index. So it'll make um, it'll fill this vec up with uh, with uh, one hundred thousand zeros. And then uh, finally, we have the the work ready to uh, to go. And so let's uh, let's uh, make a uh, thread. And so we will, you know, give it a name handle so we can uh, so we can put it uh, put all the handles together. And uh, and then inside here, of course, we will do the actual work. So we will do uh, let's see, let's say for number in uh, work dot iter mute. 
uh, we're going to go through each of those and say number plus equals one and that will uh, make it uh, you know make it all the zeros that we got uh, make it into uh, into ones and then we've got our sender clone inside here that is going to send it and uh, unwrap because there could be a send error um, we know it's going to work but we'll still uh, we'll still un unwrap it um, and then um, let's see down dot unwrap and uh, let handle equals there we go so that makes so we have uh, we have our handle here and then um, we have a handle vec and so we're going to put the uh, you know before we leave this loop we we want to put the handle inside the handle vec so we can uh, unwrap it later and so we're going to say handle handle vec uh, dot push and put the handle inside of there and so that is uh, so that is the the work that we do over the ten threads. And so we've got this handle vec, and uh, of course we need to uh, unwrap it. Otherwise, it's going to uh, you know pass by and finish the program right here. So we're going to say for handle in handle vec, and we will just say handle dot join dot unwrap. So that'll say you know don't uh, don't finish the program yet. We're going to unwrap all of our threads. And that'll let the threads, you know, work on their own schedule, and uh, and and still, you know, not uh, not uh, you know be cancelled when the uh, when when we get to the end of the program. And then finally, so now the um, you can see sender has sent all this work, and now the receiver is full of uh, of this uh, of this work, and we would like to um, you know get the get the results, and we use this. Uh, Let's try receive a uh, method before. So let's um, let's do a while let loop. Uh, so we're going to say results. So we're going to say receiver dot try receive. So this is you know as you know keep calling uh, try receive, and as long as it's uh, as long as you get uh, a, an okay result, then take these results and we are going to put them into new vec which is the original vec that we put together to try to put all this uh all these new numbers in so we're going to push the results in there and then finally there's um so now we have a uh, new vec is a vec of vex so there's 10 vex inside of it because you know this itself is a vec and we would like to flatten it and there is a, uh, a cool method for that and it's really easy um, and let's see flatten method and all this does is if you have um, if you have like a vec let's say you have like two vex of, uh, of u8s and you've got a one two over here and you've got a one two over here and then you put them into a vec so it's a vec of vec of u8s then you call flatten and then it'll take uh, It'll remove the uh, the uh, the structure that they're inside and pull them out and flatten them together. So it'll become a single vec. So if you have, uh, I should probably type that out first. So imagine you have, you know, a vec of this. So let my vec equals vec, and uh, inside here you have a uh, you know, vec of that, and then you have a vec of that let's say four and uh, eight so there you go there is a we're imagining there's a vec with a vex inside it and if you flatten it then it'll remove that it'll remove that and it'll turn it into a single vec like that so uh that is what we're going to do, do now so we will uh let's see and because we don't need new vec uh, you know, we only care about new vec in the sense of a single vec. We are just going to shadow it and uh, you know call it new vec again because we don't we don't care about the other one. We uh, don't need it. So we go into iter, flatten, and then collect it into a new vec. So a vec of u eight like that. And uh, let's just see if this runs. And see, we haven't printed out anything yet. So. Uh, you know, did it work? Well, we can uh, we can 
do a little bit of looking at the vec because it's you know it's one million uh, numbers long, so we don't want to print out the whole thing. But what we can do is uh, we can do is look at some slices of the vec. So we can uh, so let's look at the uh, the front and the end, and also total length. So let's look at that. So what we will do is take uh, let's see new vec. So let's look at uh, you know, slice indexes 0 to 10. And let's also look, uh, see if, uh, if the end of it is, um, is working too. And so we have a uh, new vec dot length minus 10 up to new vec dot length. So that will be from the, um, the nine, no, 999,990 ninth up to the millionth, um, item inside of it. And then finally, we are going to uh, new, new vec dot length to print the total length. Whoops, shouldn't be inside there. Vec dot length, get out of there. There we go. And finish the print statement. And I think this should print some ones and then some more ones and then also tell us that, there you go, it is 1 million uh, ones in length. So you can see uh, indexes 0 to 10 are a bunch of ones. Indexes all the way up to 1 million are also a bunch of ones. And the total length is a million. So we're, we're pretty sure that uh, that we got that. Of course, we could also say uh, for a number in uh, NuVec, uh, if a number not equals 1, uh, panic. And, you know, it should not panic. And there you go. So it didn't panic. And uh, so we know that each and every number inside of there is a one. So that was, uh, hopefully you had fun watching that. Um, maybe we'll just look at it one more time to make sure we understand. So uh, so we brought in channel and spawn, created a uh, channel, made this massive vec. It's one million zeros. And then we make this uh, empty vec to hold uh, the new all the new data that we change from zero to one, and then the uh, the handle vec to hold the handles, and then uh, we do this ten times to make ten threads. Uh, so of course we need to send in the uh, we need to clone the sender, uh, so it can go inside of the thread which uh, which starts here, uh, and then we um, we make this new vec with uh, that is one tenth of the size. Uh, we fill it up with uh, one um, one tenth of the zeros, and then we uh, we start a thread. And of course, we need to um, it's a it's a join handle, so we need to uh, uh, you know put it put it somewhere. And what we do is we uh, we give it the name handle, and then uh, we push it into the handle vec uh, before this uh, before this loop ends. And then um, inside of here, this is where we do the actual work. Uh, we have the uh, you know the work here is uh, is this is this vec with uh, one hundred thousand zeros, and then we uh, we iterate over it uh, mutably and um, change each number by uh, adding one, and then we uh, then we finally get the uh, the sender clone, which is uh, just a clone of the sender itself, uh, and we send the work over and we unwrap to uh, to make sure that we don't get a send error or to to panic if uh, if there's a send error. And then, um, then finally, yeah, we talked about that. And then uh, now we have this handle vec, and it's full of ten handles. And then we say for each one, uh, join and unwrap, which is to make sure that uh, that the main thread doesn't uh, finish uh, before they are done their work. And then finally, we have uh, you know the receiver is sitting here with its uh, results, and so we um, and we don't want to use. Uh, Maybe we don't want to use just receive because uh, maybe it could, uh, if there's nothing there, it'll try to, uh, it'll wait forever. And so we're going to use try receive, which will, uh, which will send a result. And uh, we use while let to say as long as there is uh, an okay result, then uh, take those results, put it into the new vec. And then new vec is going to be a vec of vex. And so we uh, we call uh, into iter and flatten flatten it to turn it from a vec of vex of u8s into just a vec of u8s. And now it's just a vec with a whole bunch of numbers. And then we uh, we prove that uh, you know everything is fine. We print out some ones, 
print out the length, the length is 1 million, that's fine. And then we also say, you know what, we are so confident that it's, uh, that it's full of numbers that are all one, um, that if the number is not one, then I want you to panic. And uh, then Rust says, that's, uh, that looks good. And um, it does not panic because uh, they are all ones.